Keep it going for Flip, guys. Woo! I like that you didn't cheer for Pomona. It was dead silent when he said that. That was great. Uh, this is awesome, guys. There's a lot of good vibes in here. I love it because it's the opposite of how I feel right now. I am super anxious. Partly, I think it's because of my phone. You know what I mean? I open up my phone and it's just a constant stream of bad news. So I'm quitting social media. Finally, I'm going to do it. Because I saw something today that I can't unsee, right? Like, I've been able to get through, like, all the constant stream of bad news, the privacy hacks, the fact that, like, a black hole lit up and no one knows why. Like, and we're not even talking about it. Like, no one even cares. Doesn't that freak you out? But here's what I saw. I found my barber's Instagram account. Yeah. So here's the deal. I've been going to the same barber for about three years. I have never once heard, hey, that's a good haircut in those three years. Seems bad, right? <sighs> yeah, but I never know, right? I don't know if he's giving me a good haircut, but I keep going back, because here's one thing you need to know about me. I have social anxiety. And what that means is, if you work in the service industry, I need you to fucking love me. <laughs> Let me give you a small example. I recently bought a used car, and I, Patrick Lopez, the person, knows that I don't need a dealer wa a warranty. I know it doesn't do anything for me, but the serviceman was so fucking nice to me. He asked me so many questions about my comedy career. My parents don't even ask me those questions <laughs> that I now have the best car warranty, right? So now we're back at the Instagram account. I click on it, and I see the worst thing you can see for a barber. It's just hats. All he does is sell hats. <laughs> Most of you came along, some of you didn't come along with me, so let me rephrase it a different way. <laughs> Imagine you had a doctor that you're on the fence about, right? And you happen to stumble upon that doctor's Instagram account, and when you clicked on it, all you saw was caskets. <laughs> You'd start to wonder how good of a job this guy really fucking does, right? But you know what? I decided to scroll through his Instagram account because I have like rapper friends and they just pivot to different names. So I'm like, maybe that's what he did. Like he's a haircut now he's pivoting jobs. So I go through it and I actually found a picture of me. And I was like, all right, cool. Now I'll know for sure. I can see the likes. I can see what it looks like. We'll have discernible information here. And I click on the picture. That shit was cropped right here. <laughs> he cut my hair on Sunday. He's still around. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of zoning in too much on my anxiety as a problem. I have other problems, too, we should talk about. Uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> like, super, like, I just found out I'm stupid. Like, I'm almost 27, and I just found out. To be fair, I think it's because I caught stupid. It's contagious. Let me tell you what happened. So I work with someone who is a moron, okay? Like, everybody, I feel like everybody has at least one workplace idiot, right? Would you agree? If you don't agree, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> we'll come back to it. <laughs> so this guy, let me give you a small example. One time, uh, we hired a new supervisor. That guy had a neck tattoo, because of course. And uh, he went up to that guy, and he said, hey, man, how come you have the same neck tattoo every day? <sighs> so anyway, I make fun of him as much as I can and probably take it a little too far, right? One day, we were with other employees. He's a supervisor, he was teaching them, and I'm just, constant, I'm just sitting in the back making fun of him, right? And afterwards, he pins me down and he goes, hey man, like you can't do that. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. I shouldn't do that in front of other people. He's like, yeah, you shouldn't, because you call me stupid, and then they call me stupid, and then I start doing stupid things, and that makes me stupid. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Now, we don't have enough time to process all that information, but I just took him at his word. And he said, no, 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 you don't, I don't feel like you don't believe me. I'm just going to start calling you stupid from here on out. And he did, nonstop, just constantly calling me stupid. But I feel like it didn't really work until two weeks later. I'm driving on a two-lane highway, right? On this side of the two-lane highway, it's just all semi-trucks going super slow. And I'm in the fast lane, and a car comes by and cuts me off, right? And then slows down to the speed of the semi-trucks. So I start freaking out, right? That LA blood, right? Just swearing up a storm, cursing out, slamming my steering wheel. And I look up, and mid-swear word, I see a dog's head pop up with a sunroof, right? And I just stop, and I go, oh, no, 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 I didn't know it was a puppy. 
I didn't know he was driving the car. I'm so sorry. Puppy, oh, please be my friend, puppy. I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, fuck. It worked. I feel like being stupid is making it hard to, like, talk to people, too. Because, like, my landlord just came up to me, and he goes, hey, man, after the earthquakes, we're raising your rent by $200. What? So I was like, what do you mean you're raising the rent? He goes, yeah, because we had somebody come out after the earthquakes happened, and they told us that in the event of a super strong earthquake, our building will probably stay intact. <laughs> now look, I'm a stand-up comedian. I have no money. I don't know how much money is worth, right? But $200 seems a little steep for probably. Would you agree? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, let, me, let me frame that a different way, too. Like, imagine that whoever you came to see tonight convinced you you were about to see this best stand-up comedy you've ever seen for an extra $200. How fucking mad would you be right now? <laughs> I let all my friends in for free, and they're pissed. <laughs> my name is Patrick Lopez. Thank you, guys.